Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to Ruby Grim Eclipse, and this is the Juniper playthrough, which you'll notice I'm on my own for. And reason being, because the others are about somewhere, but they're just choosing not to come on. I know this, because I've seen evidence of it floating all over the place, the sods. So anyway, no, I wanted to continue doing this, though, but I'm using a new headset, you might notice I sound a bit different. I don't know, I've, the last few videos I've done is to have been the new headset, so you will have noticed that I sound a little bit different. No one's really picked up on it yet so far, though, so whatever, I'm just announcing a different headset, it might sound a slight bit different. Whatever. Anyway, um, basically my plan here is, every episode, since the, the Juniper playthrough, because I want to try all the Juniper characters, and as you can see, I have tried them all, a bunch. Um, I've actually got, I've tried them out more than I've tried the Ruby characters, like, I have actually used these two before, it's just when the game updated to, like, include this new layout thing, I, like, reset, or I deleted it and reset it, I can't remember. Either way, um, my plan is, basically, go through every character and each episode just switch characters, and it'll continue being the Juniper playthrough. And if the others decide to join back in, then so be it, it's just because it's waiting on the other scrubs is a bit of a thing. So, today, well, last time I played as Nora, today I'm going to play as Pyrrha, because Pyrrha is my weakest, and this is only Chapter 3, so hopefully this should work. Um, do I want to refund skill points? Yes, I do, because why not? No, I don't want to exit. Play. Let us do this. So this is chapter three, and we have three points to spend, so we're going to give ourselves more aura. Um, Pierce Spear does more damage. I believe that's her ultimate attack? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's increase your ultimate pull by two? We could. Heavy attacks have improved chance. Adds three additional light attacks to Pyrrha's combo. Or Pyrrha creates a shockwave that damages nearby enemies when pulling her spear out of her target. Alright, so these are the team attack. Well, team attack, it's going to be myself set up. So it's not really that. So there's no point in that. Um, you can survive more damage after your aura depletes. Yes, take that. Because I'm going to need it. I'm by myself. I'm going to need it. Alright, well, we're off then. Um, so I've not played much as Pyrrha. Like, out of all the characters, you'll see Pyrrha's the one I've played the least as. Because Pyrrha is, from what we've seen, like, the strongest player. Oh god. That was a, that was a slight lag spike there. Um, yeah, Pyrrha's... Pyrrha's maybe, like, the strongest one, and she was wrecking it, you know? And, um, when Mitch was playing as her, she was absolutely wrecking things, but... I don't know, I just never, I haven't bothered with her. I just haven't bothered. Like, I had some fun as Nora. Nora's a lot of fun. Nora's one of my favourite characters, easily, because she's the Queen of Castle. Um, and I don't know, I just took fancy to Ren, probably because I'm a bit of a speed freak. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's like the only explanation for it. I just like speed, and Ren is quick. Ren is really quick, he's really good. Um, I don't know what Pat, what Pat was saying, it wasn't very good. No, Pat just wasn't utilizing it correctly. No, Ren is brilliant. Also, hello, Bailos, can I? Oh god, Pierre, you're so strong. Oh, ultimate. And it just destroys everything. Yeah, her, she's insanely strong. Like, Ren's not as strong. Oh, throw your spear in. And boop. Ren's not as strong as Pyrrha, definitely not, right? Pyrrha can destroy Grim without any problem. But um, Ren's still really good. Ren's really fast. If he uses combos and stuff, he uses um, his, whatchamacallit, his guns more. Because Ren's actually got a really good gun. You can get good gun tactics. Like, you can actually, you can nerf infinitely spawn any, uh, not spawn. You can almost infinitely stall enemies with Ren. Because he does like a little jump shoot thing. Like, he shoot, like, you see Pyrrha, she just shoots a rifle. Ren, like, does a spinny thing in the air, and it's really cool, because it knocks all the enemies below you back. So as long as you time it right, basically you can just knock Ren back and slowly chip them off, as long as they don't projectiles. Like, the machine gun guys, they're a completely different story. Like, you've all seen this, you've always seen me done it in Horde mode, um, in one of the videos. Then, obviously, with um, Horde mode again, I also did the thing with John. There's a, there's a thing back here? No, there's not. Okay, no, wait, the, 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 the chest piece is back here. I'm gonna try and remember to get all the artifacts. It's back here, isn't it? Yes. I remember, because I played this already. Does it belong at Beacon Pyrrha? Does it really? Good to know. Um, John, I've tried it a bunch of times. The only time I've actually tried John is when I've done the John or Nothing um, run. Which we've done it, me, Enmo, and Zara have done it twice. Well, I'm sorry, well, we did it four times, technically. Um, we did it first time. That was like by ourselves. And we actually completed the whole thing. We actually completed it when we weren't recording. It was stupid. It, we were stupid lucky. Like, we just got really easy enemies. Because you saw in the recording, we tried it three times and we failed. Three times. We got to level 9 the last one, so it wasn't too bad. I blame Zaro for that still. Infinitely going to be Zaro's fault in that one. Um, I'm sure there's an artifact around here somewhere. Just need to find it. Um, is there an artifact around here? I think there is. Also, we're going to get... There it is. We're going to get enemies. Bring it on. Oh, I need to open the door first. Let us open the door. So, yeah, I'm recording this on the 19th. I'm just... I, I don't know. I just had nothing else, like, really on. So, I just thought, oh, yeah, I'll just try recording this. And see, like, just as a little extra video for the day. Um, some of the days. Like, obviously, I'm not going to be putting it right now. Ultimate. All dead. 
Nope, you're not dead. Won't be out this exact day because I was smiling it sucks. But, you know, one of the days. Ah. Nope. 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 <laughs> Fear is awesome. Like, normally with a character does like a counter thing, they've got like rush at the enemy. But Pira doesn't need to. Pira just, she throws her shield, which is actually good because it means you'd have to get in the danger zone if you want to do it. Just destroy you all. Wave complete. Awesome. Yeah, no, Pira's, Pira's beast. Pira, Pira's got that unique counter for that sake because she doesn't have to, like, actually run at the person, which is good. Um, let's just kill you all. Boop. Oi! I was going for a flawless wave there. Just ruined that. You know, I'm recording this on the 19th, so, like, it's, it's actually really close to, um... The uh, new series starting, which I don't know how that's going to work for me because I've got work on those days. I'm pretty sure because the series normally was released. Like, I say new series, I mean like Ruby Season 4. Oh god, it's Portas. Ow. If I was walking a flawless wave, I was never going to get one. You know, if you want to you just stall me like this, just, just chill though then. I'll just keep shooting you. I'll do this. Yeah, um, Ruby Season 4 starts on the um, 22nd of November. I've already got my... Like, I've already got membership at Rooster Teeth. I've had it for like six months or something, so like I, I'm ready to say. Because I was watching all Ruby Chibi, which I enjoyed. It's a nice, lighthearted little thing, but Ruby Chibi, I don't know. It's nowhere near as awesome as Ruby. I just thought it was like stupid little funny thing, which that is basically what the show was going for. It was meant to be stupid and funny. Um, also, I was just grinding ultimates there against that as well. So that was the thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, she throws her shoe at the Botas as well. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I could just, I don't even have to get close to the Botas. Oh, that's good. But yeah, it's so freaking close. It's three days away, and I'm really, I'm really excited for it. I, you have no idea. But I'm also working around those days because it comes out on a Saturday. I work on Fridays, like until Friday morning. So I'll wake up. Then I think this series comes out during the day. Like I don't think it's too late. So I'll probably be able to watch. I'll probably be able to watch it before I go to work for the Saturday. I hope. If I don't, I'm gonna be so freaking sad. Also, could you, could you stop that? Good night. Nope. Oh, there we go. Boom. That really doesn't do very much. Let's just kill them all. Oh, you, I missed you. Never mind. I'll just shoot you in the head then. We have 305 complete. Uh, Ruby season 4. It's it's one of those... I, I, really, I don't really don't know what to expect this season coming around. Like, I, I want to know what happened with Cinder. That's the big thing I want to know. Like, I can't wait to see Cinder in this. Because I want to know what happened with her and Ruby. Like... It just does so many cliffhangers for season three. That's that's what really got me. Like there was so much. Like they just introduced so many new things season three, which was really weird because, okay, they, they add new stuff every season. Like we learn new things in that. We see new connections. You see there's all these different features and stuff like that. Like you know, we learn about or we learn a bit more about semblances. We learn about the tournaments and stuff. Everything's operating, whatever. And then season three, it's like, okay, well, it's actually the maidens and stuff as well. Which are really, really badass. Like, yeah, you're they're, they look really strong. Oh, but then also they were like stealing maidens' powers. Like that was just a completely new thing they added in. Okay, oh, no, wasn't quick enough. Is this the point where I fight against an Ursa? Yes, yeah, this is the point where I fight against an Ursa. Yeah, I'll just I'll just keep shooting you then. Um, but yeah, they added the maidens in. Then they added the silver eye thing at the very end, and it was like, wait, what? That's insane. Cause that, you don't expect that from Ruby. That's just. I don't know, it's just madness what they added at the end. It's awesome, obviously. Like, I enjoy I liked it. I thought it was a cool feature having Ruby having these super secret powers. It makes you wonder who else has got these super powers. Like, who else has got odd a bit things about that we don't know. It just shows how we know so little about the world. We know so little about the Ruby world. And there's still so much to learn. Like, we've only visited Vale. And now there's... It's, like, the last two days they've done videos on Vale and Minestral. I think it was. So, like, I'm guessing, like... Ruby, Ruby, Nora, Ren, and John, they were planning to go to Ministro, weren't they? For, like, investigating. And obviously it's been, like, I don't know, six or eight months or something, so, like, things have changed. You know, they've grew up a bit, they've gotten stronger. Ruby's even more badass than before, somehow, which I didn't think was possible, but apparently it just became possible. She might be slightly more matured, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, considering she looked like an absolute badass, serious fighter. But then, at the very end, it's, like, they want her to, like, if you haven't watched the, um, the short um, five minute trailer thing. You really should though, because it was really freaking awesome. It's a small spoiler. At the very end when she's done fighting everything, the other rest of the little team, Team Ranger, I guess everyone dubbed it, is like, oh, we saw smoke, we're on our way. And she's like, you better hurry. She just lifts her siphon and runs at the rest of the Grim. And it's like, yeah, she's still Ruby. 
Like, that was, that was just, it seemed like a kind of childish thing. Like, she just, it, it seemed like more of a Yang thing. Just, no, it's actually it's a Ruby thing. Downright. I forgot, Ruby, Ruby's a bit of a kill-hungry person. She's a bit of a grim killing maniac. Um, because, you know, when you see a Goliath, your first thought isn't, let's kill it, but Ruby it was. Ruby sees a Goliath, she's like, yeah, let's kill it. Oh. Nope. Oh. You're dead. Is there a artifact around here? There could be. You're all dead. Alright, you're not quite dead, but you are bloody close. Um, I could power up my... No, I could. I need it. Oh. They're all dead? No, they're not dead. Da, 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 da. Ow! No, nope, too fast for you. <laughs> I had too much fun with this. I don't know. I, don't, I could probably just spend all these videos I'm going to do just talking about Season 4 Ruby, to be honest. I, that's, that's, it, obviously, by the time the next video comes out... No, actually, I don't know. I was about to say, the next video comes out, I might actually... Season 4 might start, because I don't know if we're going to be recording these, how often. And it also depends if people actually want them, which hopefully people do. Hope people are interested at least seeing a little bit more Juniper. I, don't, I just like playing Grim Eclipse. I just I enjoy the game, and then sadly everyone else just isn't around much to play it, which is a shame. Also, that put me perfect in for a team combo thing. Is there an artifact around here? No, it doesn't look like. I feel there should be. Could be one of, oh, there is one there. My senses have not led me astray so far. I have one point. I'm going to save the point from the ultimate. I want to power up my ultimate next. I could unlock a third this ultimate. Ooh, that's tempting. Now nah, I'll just leave it for now. Uh, when I want to get a fourth member on and try our John or Nothing run. Like, I, I want to actually play as just Johns, just all Johns, just play through all the different levels. Like, for Horde mode. I hope they had more Horde mode levels. I feel like they will. Because, like, that was the first deal. The first DLC they got, obviously, Horde mode was like an update. The first DLC was characters. And I'm guessing they're going to add more characters as we go. Which, oh, that's the thing though, that's a question to ask you. Who do you want to see as more characters? Like, I want to see Mercury and Emerald for one. I want to see Coco's team in there, because Coco's team is freaking awesome. Like, Co every time we Coco on a minigun in this game, this, that'd be brilliant. Like, her, our old Twitch just a massive volley of shots or something stupid, I don't know. It's such a good, oh god, and playing as Velvet, that would be fun. That would be really fun. Also, could you, could you not? Okay, sit down. Her, her freaking, her counter thing for, um, countering moves is just so OP. Just throwing her shield, that's just so good. Because, I mean, she can just continue acting. She can continue fighting on other enemies and stun the other ones. That's so good. Oop. Yeah, they just... <laughs> you got a problem. Nope, all dead. Oh, you survived, you sod. Get down. Wait a minute, are you... Oh, you are stunned. Hello. I'll take that. I wonder for update. Oh, God. Hello. I wonder for updates for this game. If they, like, do you think maybe they'll add, like, a volume 4 version of the characters? Like, because volume 4 is obviously really different. Like, you see the characters. Yang's obviously only got one arm. She's going to have to adapt to a new, kind of new fighting style as well or something. Or get a new arm, which is totally possible. I mean, she has got a rich friend. She has got a really rich friend. I don't see why. I'm just going to go to it, by the way, right now. No, you don't. She's got a rich friend. Surely a Weiss could hit her up with a new arm if we really needed one. Ow. I shouldn't be greedy. I shouldn't be greedy against Ursa. Ursa or evil? Ursa or evil? Hello. Huh? Ah. Nope. Nope. You're stunned. And you're going to get to beat down. Nope. Ow. That wasn't quick enough. And you're dead. And that's an Ursa Major. Great fun. These things are monsters. Nope. Okay, I didn't do very much. Um, keep fighting. Ultimate. Oh, I just saw that all. Ow. Ow. Ursus are monsters. <laughs> They're freaking monsters. I can, actually, I can just shoot you, can I? Oh, I shot box. I can just shoot you. I can grind my ultimates back and wait for my early come back. Because, oh. When it's only one Ursa, it's not too bad. But it's, those grips that can get a bit challenging. I shouldn't. Why do I do that? I'm getting greedy, that's the problem. I'm getting greedy, I'm trying to get more hits in there. I really, really should. Although, as Ren, I think I just use, I think I just use, like, shots, um, against the Ursa with Ren. Like, I played through to this level before with Ren, just kind of, like, toying around when I wanted to try him out. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, God. I forgot I did that. 
All right. Oh, Ren's so much quicker, though. Oh, I like Ren. Ah. Come on it. Yep. You're not going to get me, though. Pira's too strong. Ah! Oh, God. Yeah, that could have killed me just there. I really, I really shouldn't do that. Um, there's a thing for XP over there. Hold on. Wait there. I'll be right back. Just wait right there. Wait right there. I think I'm going to get one level done today. I forgot. Oh, God. There's another one. Hold on, Arsa. There's two things I need to go gather. Just stay there. I'll be right back. Yeah, don't worry. I'm just gathering these up. Hello! Yep, you missed me. And back up. And back in. And... Oh! And get through the crack. And... Dodge, dodge. Ow! I need, to, I need to realize the dodge is better. Oh, you're not quick enough. Oh, ow, I'm getting greedy. That did a little bit of damage. Back away, back away, back away. And just shoot him from a distance. Oh, this is, like, people, right, um, some people don't like the game because it's a hack and slash. It is a hack and slash, sure, but there's a lot of strategy in this game. Plus, that's one of the best bits with the DLC they added. Um, I added a bunch and you just ways of fighting because like Ren focuses far far more on can you can you try and swing me um he focuses more on the distance and kind of the dps type style Nora's slower than everyone else but she also hits really freaking hard plus grades grades are awesome um Pira is obviously an absolute monster but like even her strategy you, you need to some strategy plus she has she hasn't got a good as good a gun I would say I'd say her gun's a bit weaker than everyone else's like she has no really super cool gun thing unless it's one of the upgrades I've just not seen um, but either way, I'm going to finish with an ultimate. Die. How are you not dead? Get down. Ow. Alright, I'll just kill you like this then. Get over here. I'm guessing that shaking was the Ursa Major falling. Nope, that'll be, the, that'll be the tower falling. And then obviously, like, for the DLC, John got added. And John's getting all, um... She's getting all... He's getting all weapon for shooting he's just got a shield rush but then his entire power up is powering up everyone else and self i suppose but it's powering everyone else john's actually really weak until you start powering him up but when you power him up he's actually really good and he helps everyone else a ton because when you give peer people like Pierre and ruby power ups they're really effing strong also i just want to quickly check how long has this been going for all right well that was 18 minutes of me just talking about ruby and stuff which is anyone really is anyone really mad about that i'm not I'm just, I'm not looking forward to Season 4. I'm really looking forward to it. The more I think about Season 4, the more I want to play games like Ruby Grim Eclipse until Season 4 gets here, because I'm really looking forward to it. So is everyone. It's really, it's a, it's a really big thing. Like, there's so many cliffhangers. The Pyrrha's not there anymore. Yag's only got one arm, and, like, Blake ran away, which, I don't get why people are angry at Blake. I still don't understand that. Blake, Blake ran away because she's scared because of what Adam and that said to her and the whole situation with that. I don't see why people are pissed at her. And then obviously Weiss is with her daddy, which is a weird thing. I don't know. Something something will develop off of that. Anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you on the next time for more Ruby Grim Eclipse. And um, this is a Juniper playthrough. Next time I'll just play as different characters. So it'll be John or Ren. If you want to leave a vote who you think I should play as next, go for it. I'm just, I'm kind of just lolly dagging through this game just a bit, have a little bit of fun with this. Just while we've got the Juniper characters. So I want to try them all out a bit more. If it's not played as them all, but you know, if I can try and max some of them out, I'll go for it and just see what, I mean, they've all got hidden skills that I've not unlocked yet. They've all got little bits and pieces. And if the others decide to join me again, then so be it. I'll play with them again. But until then, we've got this for a little extra video of the day. Anyway, though, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time for my Robot Grim Eclipse. Goodbye, everybody.